1774, Joseph Priestley performed one of the most famous chemical experiments in history. He placed a sample of mercuric oxide on a small platform sitting on top of a pool of mercury over which he inverted a glass bell jar. He then used a magnifying glass to focus the sun's rays on the mercuric oxide to see what would happen. The pool of mercury provided a perfect seal ensuring that no gases could enter or escape. Previously, Priestley had used such an apparatus to heat a sample of ammonium nitrate to produce nitrous oxide that would be christened laughing gas, destined to be introduced by American dentist Horace Wells as the world's first anesthetic. Heating mercuric oxide produced a gas in which a candle burned with great intensity. Priestley didn't know it, but he had produced oxygen a gas that would eventually be identified by Antoine Lavoisier as an element. This story is a mainstay in chemistry classes, as it should be, but a corollary to this experiment should also be woven into the tale, that of the toxicity of mercury, something of which Priestley was likely unaware given his frequent experiments that involved mercury and its compounds. Matt Hatter's disease, a neurological condition linked to the production of felt hats by treating wool with mercuric nitrate would not be described until the 19th century. While there's no evidence that Priestley suffered any ill effects, a century earlier, Isaac Newton, whose dabbling in alchemy exposed him to mercury, did exhibit tremor, insomnia, and paranoid ideation, all symptoms of mercury toxicity. Today, knowledge that even small amounts of inhaled mercury vapor can be a problem has led to the elimination of mercury thermometers and advisories about eating fish contaminated with mercury. This is a huge problem in Bolivia, where artisanal gold mining operations have become very popular among indigenous people since significant amounts of gold occur in rocks and sediments in the Amazon. Combining the crushed rocks with water and mercury results in the formation of gold amalgam, an alloy of mercury and gold that due to its weight settles to the bottom and can be separated. Heating the amalgam then drives off the mercury and leaves gold behind. Inhaling mercury vapor is unavoidable, as is dispensing the water that still contains some mercury into rivers. Here, Microbes convert metallic mercury into an even more toxic form of the element called methylmercury that concentrates in fish and consequently is ingested by the local population. Mercury contamination is detected by analyzing the mercury content of hair where some of the ingested mercury is deposited. Surveys of people in mining areas show significantly elevated hair levels and symptoms of mercury poisoning are being documented. The Bolivian government has pledged to address the problem, but the artisanal mining continues because of the attraction of the rising cost of gold. Unfortunately, there's also a cost to the health of the indigenous people producing it. Gold may provide profits, but it can't buy health. And that for today is our Cup of Joe.